Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to GCTV. I'm Jared Snort here with Andrew Surgat. We begin today with a big props to our school's Future Educators Association. The group brought home three awards from yesterday's competition at Murray State. I'm extremely proud of the young ladies in FEA. They were phenomenal yesterday. We placed in three of the four categories. Uh, the first one we placed in was t-shirt design. Jaden Keeling designed our t-shirt. Uh, second place was Tiffany Trout with her essay that she submitted. And then thir or first place uh, was our PSA announcement, which a uh, number of students worked on, but I think that speaks accolades of uh, Mr. Heisner's class because several of the students that worked on that were from GCTV. Again, congrats to our FEA member and their uh, sponsors, Mr. Mallory. Your FBLA officers are planning an FBLA trip to New York in January. Please see an officer or Ms. Gaddis for more details. The deadline to sign up for the trip is October 28th. The October FBLA meeting is changed from Thursday to Friday in the PAC. All members should make plans to attend. Important fundraising information and New York details will be discussed. The Future Problem Solvers team will have an informational meeting on Friday during break in room B07. Anyone interested in joining is welcome to attend. Graves County voters will now head to the polls on Tuesday, November 12th. That means there will be school on Monday, November 4th, and out of school on November 12th. Seniors, don't forget to schedule your headshots at Wells Studio for the yearbook. Wells is open Tuesday through Friday. You can call 247-1851 for your appointment. The annual Turkey Trot 5K run is coming up on November 23rd at 9 a.m. and will benefit the Farmington Elementary 6th grade field trip. Entry fees are $20 for pre-registered runners and $30 for race day runners. You must pre-register by Saturday, November 16th. During the break, Clayton Heath and Colby Wilford share our latest book reviews for We Read Week. Plus, we will show you the FEA first place PSA video. I'd just like to thank her today for the words of encouragement whenever I thought I couldn't do something and she said not to let one certain thing define the rest of my life. about Charlie Hickson takes place in London after a worldwide sickness has infected adults turning into something akin to zombies. The book follows a group of teenage survivors who struggle to find a safe haven in this post-apocalyptic world. They try to seek shelter in Buckingham Palace, but how long will their safety last? The Enemy is the first novel in Hickson's zombie thriller series. The series includes the fear, the sacrifice, and the dead. Will the survivors ever find a way to keep the ravenous horde away? Read Charlie Hickson's The Enemy to find out. I'll give The Enemy a 9 out of 10, and for We Read Week, I'm Kobe Wolford. Hey GC, it's time to get on board with our Eagles soccer teams as both teams will not play for regional championships. Last night, our Lady Eagles beat down the McCracken County Mustangs. The final score was 6-1. to one. Caitlin Rogers pulled off the hat trick by scoring three goals. Shelby Rogers netted two more. Now the girls play tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. They will face off against the heated rival Marshall County Lady Marshals. The boys take the field tonight. They will also play at Marshall. Tonight's game is at 6 o'clock at Tillman. The boys will look to even the season series at two games apiece. Come out and show our team support this week. That's all for today's sports action. We'll leave you with this video to get you pumped for the games. For GCTV Sports, I'm Miranda Branham. After last night, I think that we have a chance at Vinnie Marshall 
pretty confident. And she scored three goals. <laughs> yeah, she scored two. So, but come to our game and support us. And the boys tonight. We chose to be managers this year because all our best friends are on the team and we make them goodie bags and bring them donuts, so that's why they keep us. We deserve this win, I know we can do it, and if God is for us, then who cares if Marshall's against us? The Rise of Lubchenko by Michael Simmons tells the story of an average teenage guy, Evan McAllister. One day he receives a call regarding strains of the smallpox virus. As far as Evan knows, his father's business partner plans on releasing these to terrorists. Evan must team up with friends Reuben and Erica to save his father's life, not to mention the world as he knows it. All the while, Evan must balance this action-packed part of his life with the need to pass classes so he can avoid being sent to military academy. Simon's book resembles the Maximum Ride series with a touch of James Bond. Therefore, The Rise of Lubchenco would certainly appeal to teenage boys who typically cannot bring themselves to read. I give this book an 8 out of 10. For GCTV, I'm Clayton Heath. Hey GC, welcome to your daily weather forecast. Today will be a high of 54 and a low of 36. It will be partly cloudy. Tomorrow will be a high of 52 and a low of 29, also partly cloudy. Friday will be a sunny day and the highs of 51 and a low of 30. It's going to be a cold week this week, GC. This has been your daily weather forecast. All girl cheerleaders have their cookbooks for sale at $10 a piece. Contact a team member, one of the coaches, Cheryl Hawkins or Tina Nance to purchase and help the girls raise money. The Powder Puff football game will now take place on Sunday, October 27th at 2 p.m. Beta is also looking for a referee. Please see an officer or Miss Robinson in B08 if you would like to do this. Admission to the game will cost $2 for adults and $1 for students. There will be a concession stand. All proceeds will go to benefit St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Come out and support your team. All Beta Club members need to come by Miss Robinson's classroom in B08 to sign the Beta Club t-shirt. Also, this week's Young Republicans meeting has been moved to Thursday, October 24th. The Lady Eagles basketball team is selling t-shirts. If you're interested, please see Tracy Taylor at the front desk for an order form. On Friday during CCR, we will air a video for all students and teachers which show how to use the TCA program and use the practice ACT results. Also remember, today after school is the math portion of the ACT workshops in room E31, and tomorrow is the last day which is science in room B08 with Ms. Robinson. Work on this year's senior video is already underway. Seniors, please email any photos from summer or fall break that you would like to put in the senior video. Please send them to Brianna Cagle. Her email is brianna.cagle at stu.graves.kyschools.us. Well, that's all we have for today, guys. For GCTV, I'm Jared Snort. And I'm Andrew Sargat.